today we will see examples related to direct proportion if a train travels 180 kilometers in 3 hours with the uniform speed how much distance can the train cover in 7 hours for the given conditions we can make a table like this when the time is 3 hours then the distance is 180 km when the time is 7 hours the distance traveled by the train is y2 here uniform speed means that a fixed distance is covered in a fixed amount of a time can you tell whether there is a direct proportion in both time and distance here think think let me tell you when the speed is fixed more distance will be covered in more time and less distance in less time in the given case both quantities increase or decrease in such a way that the ratio of their corresponding values remains constant therefore we can say that time and distance are in direct proportion in the last video we learned that if x is directly proportional to y and if the values of x as x1 x2 x3 and so on and values of corresponding y as y1 y2 y3 and so on then x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 is equal to x3 by y3 and so on so for the given situation we can write 3 by 180 is equal to 7 by y2 that is y2 is equal to 7 multiplied by 180 divided by 3 kilometers which is equal to 7 multiplied by 60 kilometers which is equal to 420 kilometers that is the train will cover a distance of 420 kilometers in 7 hours can we solve it with unitary method too think think absolutely right we can solve it with a unitary method the train covers a distance of 180 km in 3 hours in this way in 1 hour it covers 180 by 3 km distance that is 60 km therefore in 7 hours the train will cover a distance of 7 multiplied by 60 km is equal to 420 km Let us now see the next example. Meena writes 92 words in 4 minutes. If she has to write an essay of 480 words, find the time required. For the given situations, we can make a table like this, where x2 is the time required to write 480 words. We know that the time required will increase in the same ratio in which the number of words increase. So here time is directly proportional to the number of words in case of direct proportion if x is directly proportional to y then the value of x and corresponding values of y we can write x1 by y1 is equal to x2 by y2 is equal to x3 by y3 and so on therefore we can say that 4 by 92 is equal to x2 by 480 means x2 is equal to 4 by 92 multiplied by 480 minutes is equal to 20.86 minutes therefore meena needs 20.86 minutes to write an essay of 480 words let's see the next example if two workers together build a 50 meter long wall in few days how many such laborers can build a wall of 75 meter length in the same number of days here when the number of laborers is 2 then the wall length is 50 meter we have to find the number of laborers so that a wall of 75 meter length can be made in same number of days let's say that x laborers make 75 meter long wall work will also increase in the same ratio as the number of laborers will increase in this way 
the number of workers and the length of the wall is in direct proportion. So, for the given situation, we can write 2 by 50 is equal to x by 75 means x is equal to 2 by 50 multiplied by 75 is equal to 3 laborers. Therefore, it will take 3 laborers to build a 75 meter long wall. So today we have seen examples related to direct proportion. In the next video, we will see some more examples related to it.